I decided to start in the HB path. I'm only here on a 90 day ESTA, so that means I only have two and a half months for the hike. I still have a lot of miles to do, in total 2100. I want to show you what I'm packing um, before I'm heading off to the trail. Flex capacitor from Sierra Designs. Very lightweight. Next up is the tent. This is a tent from the UK, from Scotland. It's a company called Trekker Tent. I actually got a review from the Trekker Tent Sour. This is a Free Ranger now, it's a modified version, it's even lighter. Four season, my sleeping bag, Polish brand called Cumulus. It's below a kilogram and it can get me through very cold nights. Thermoras sleeping pad, the x light in the smallest version. Cut off piece of like, um, I'm not sure how you call it. I've got a, a hard shell here, protects me from the rain. And of course I've got a soft shell as well, protects me from the cold. All of my clothes pretty much. I've got my little bag full of toiletries, a first aid kit, lightweight towels, a power bag, a headlamp, a soil filter, just a bunch of stuff in this little bag here. I also have to carry my laptop. And last but not least, a full bag of food. This little bag here will be replaced with a bear canister once I reach Candy Meadows. Yeah, right now it's really full. I've got some extra snacks and stuff. And that brings me to the last point, my cooking system. Topes, pot. Little burner here, very lightweight as you can see. That's my cooking system. It's gonna be a lot of ramen, a lot of uh, mashed potatoes. I'm gonna resupply in the town, so I'm not gonna set any boxes. That's all my stuff. I'm gonna pack this all up now into my backpack and then I'm gonna get out on the trail. It's gonna be very hot. I've got three liters of, of water here. I'm gonna get another gallon, which is another 3.7. I'm gonna have uh, nearly seven liters of water with me, which is seven kilos. So that's exactly the same weight of all of my gear combined, except for the laptop. Let's go! Into the heat! We're on the trail now. It's the Tehachapi Pass here. It's mile 567. So let's hit the trail. There was the first water cache already. So there's a chance I'm actually carrying too much water and food with me. Definitely too much food. I put my buff towel on as well. The water on the skin for my freshly cut hair. It looks like I'm in the Middle East now. <laughs> So we finally left the road behind us. First kind of mile is uh, just going along the highway. But now we're getting up into the mountains. I already made the first PCT friends here. They're all taking a siesta now here under some uh, Joshua trees because it is really freaking hot. This must be the biggest wind farm I've seen in my life. So many wind turbines here. Found a shady place here, take the first break. Backpack is so heavy, combination with the heat, it's uh, taking its toll on my shoulders. Big clouds coming in. So as soon as this cloud behind me is covering the sun, I'll keep going. 18 kilometers left to the campsite tonight. Tomorrow I'll wake up early, walk in the morning, walk in the evening and have a long siesta in the middle as well. That's the right way to go for sure. And I opened my, uh, my gummy worms here, I just love these things. Another one of these toads, so cool. We're leaving the windmills behind now, getting towards the highest point for today, I think. Right now I'm at around 1,880 meters. And it's actually raining over there now, it's crazy. Look how dark these clouds are. Really something I didn't expect here on this hot day in the desert. <laughs> I'm making good progress actually. Didn't take my break yet. Uh, nine kilometers left now. Not too much. I think at some point we have to get up one of these uh, mountains or hills rather. I'm 
gonna climb a bit higher and then I'm actually gonna take my break with a view on the sunset. Sadly, the first blister is coming in. Oh, that hurts a bit. It's on the reverse spot. I think I have to put some plaster on already. I was hoping I can make it to camp for 7.7 .7 more kilometers. But... If I find a nice spot, uh, maybe with view on the sunrise, maybe I'll just camp because I still have enough water and I can do the last five kilometers tomorrow then. Because I'm exhausted and I would like to cook before it gets really dark. My last video for today here in the middle of the dark bush making my ramen. Yeah, so the first day I made 25.3 kilometers, which is 15.7 miles. Um, considering the fact that I started pretty late and that it was brutally hot and I had too much to carry, I think that's okay. Have a good night. Good morning, day two here on the PCT. In my little camping bush here behind. Water doesn't taste that great to be honest, it's also not super cold. I was hoping I could do some more kilometers before my first break. But I'm so exhausted and my shoulders really hurt and my blisters, I have four blisters now. All because I packed too much in my backpack because I was actually walking around in Mexico for a month before coming here. Like 20 kilometers a day as well, on average maybe. And everything was fine with these boots, but now with the added weight, I think, oh, I put too much in it. Yeah, right now it's really full. I've got some extra snacks and stuff. I would like to have my lunch break around here, which is 11 kilometers, two hours, 47 minutes. <clears throat> Wait out the heat of the day from there, and then from there go to the next water source, which would be Robin Springs, and that's another 14 kilometers. Ugh. Just came across a construction worker, and he told me that he has to check if the the path is clear because apparently yesterday they had some huge rocks falling down here because they're building windmills. I'm pretty much out of the rockfall zone. It was just up there. They pretty much told the crane guy to wait until I'm through. It's like a long, hot, dry stretch here. So I got 7.3 kilometers to go to the campsite where I wanted to have my siesta, but as soon as I find a nice shady place, I'm gonna have my siesta. Ah, oh, so exhausting for the heat. There were some trail, trail angels here, they put some uh, drinks. Oh my god, it's actually... It used to be cold, I guess. And there's stuff um, that's not water. Nah, it's gonna be so nice now. I'm on a shady spot now. I'm not even at all, I'm sliding down a little bit, but it was the first spot in a while and it's still five kilometers to that campsite. It's getting really hot now. It's, what time is it now? It's exactly noon, 12. I'm gonna stay here at least for two hours now. Three hours, then keep walking. So I left my super uncomfortable like little siesta spot because I was just sliding down all the time and we had some clouds coming in so I decided to keep moving again. Sadly right now the clouds are gone again and I'm in the sun. I would like to take a break in the shade but there was not a single spot. And, oh. My shoulders are being crushed by the weight of my pack. Okay, I found a little uh, shady spot, but this must be the most uncomfortable spot to rest ever. I actually have to dig in my feet into the ground so I'm not falling down here. I'm completely exhausted. Oh. Also not getting younger, actually tomorrow is my birthday. I'm gonna turn 37 tomorrow. We've got a snake right on the path here. Alright, so this is the spot that was marked as the campsite. I decided to stay here. I want to show you the reason why I'm suffering so much because I brought way too much food. We've got some freeze dried, we got some breakfast stuff that I haven't touched yet. Macaroni and cheese, a lot of uh, mashed potatoes and a bunch of ramen. Well, there's some snacks. So I'm in the bed now. Or I would like to try to wake up earlier. I still haven't found my rhythm yet. Mainly also because I started so late the first day. Just get as much walking done before the heat comes in. And then just like the other guys that I met in the first day, 
have a very very long siesta. Maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal. I can make two of them. Because I want to lose weight <laughs> in my backpack <laughs> and gain weight on my body. People passed me already on the way to the Robin Spring. That's going to be my destination as well, 14 kilometers from here. Stretchy up a mountain. But they say if you're having a bad day, just change your altitude. And now we're in the forest. Forests are amazing because it's always a bit cooler. Three kilometers left. I'm out of water since an hour now. My mouth is really dry. And it has been a long time since I was craving water like that. Actually, it's not as bad as my hike to Tamul waterfall yet in Mexico a few weeks back. Check out the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen that. That was like 10, 50 degrees hotter. Less than a kilometer. Oh, so close. Here it is. Not what I was hoping for exactly. The water flow is even worse in the first spring. We missed the 600 miles to sign here. On the way in, I was so focused on the water. And it will take a long time to fill up everything. All right, I met a few new people there. <clears throat> I got my first uh, suggestion for a trail name. Heavy pack. <laughs> It's actually a, a fitting one. You can't pick a trail name yourself, so other people give it to you. I've got the water now. It was very, very low flowing. I was able to give some of my food away now, so that's good. Lost some weight. So I'm just walking into Landers campsite, different meters off the PCT. They have two toilets here. <laughs> and nobody seems to be camping here. And I'm just hoping that the water is running because the spring is over there. I'm a bit confused that there's nobody here at all. Could be because of a empty spring, but two days ago it was still running. <sighs> Guys, I'm so happy right now. Can you hear the sound? <laughs> Look at that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. set up. I'm just gonna relax now, clean a little bit, uh, cook because I need to reduce my weight still. There's no way I still carry way too much food. One more update actually. I took care of the fact that we have unlimited clean water now and also hand sanitizer at the toilets. It's just a perfect camp spot. So I got my contacts out for the first time. This is me with my glasses. I only usually wear them when I go to bed. I also took care of my, uh, yeah, my foot. <sighs> a lot of liquid inside. I popped it anyway. Put one of these uh, sticky plister plasters on top and then another normal plaster on top of that. Right now it kind of hurts like hell but I hope tomorrow and going forward we'll get better with that. Um, my left foot is completely fine now so as soon as that right foot is healed up I can get some miles going. That's it for tonight. Now it's time to eat and then sleep. See ya! Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. I really hope you liked the content and if you did, please consider subscribing using the bell icon as well to make sure you're not missing any of the new content. And I would also love to hear about your feedback in the comments.